Hello and welcome to AV Cyberactive. Hope everybody is having a lovely day. Today's topic of discussion is going to be malware and different types of it. Now, of course, uh, malware is just an umbrella term and there are various types of malwares. I'm going to discuss only the ones that are most commonly discussed. Let's start with the first one that is virus. So what's a virus? Uh, we'll start with the definition first. So virus is a contagious uh, program or code that attaches itself to another piece of software and then reproduces itself when the software is run. So in simple words, it also wants to say that it, a virus always needs to be propagated or it always needs a human action initiate itself all right let's take an example now first what virus does it does it affect other program they insert the code into another program and hope that it'll be executed when someone else runs that legitimate program uh, then the virus itself will self replicate by infecting other programs on your computer now keep in mind apart from the uh, trying to spread to other programs viruses also also have payload and the payload can all not always be harmful some payloads are benign but the majority of viruses do harm your system and the, with the sole purpose of either deleting or stealing the data or otherwise doing something that is not good for your organization or your personal computer next what's a worm so a worm is a malicious software that is self-replicating okay remember that word self-replicating software code what it wants to say what it means is a worm is something that does not need a human interaction to replicate or initiate itself okay let's take an example now if you see the computer worm and viruses are very similar in the sense that they self-replicate and execute uh, the malicious payload on a computer system where they differ is how they spread a virus it needs a host program to infect and relies on a user to spread the infected program using removable storage or an email or some kind of transmission method but in case of a worm that's not the case a worm ha exists in an o in, in its own independent program and does not need any third-party application uh, it also spreads by itself without any human intervention so if one of the computers in your organization uh, is infected the program could you know quickly spread itself to connected machines uh, worms usually use the vulnerabilities that are discovered in your operating systems hardware and and software that run their code and without even having to do anything at all they'll just spread uh, pr probably these days the modern firewalls and IDS and IPS systems are smart enough and highly effective at stopping worms from spreading uh, but new vulnerabilities and loopholes are always being discovered next what's a Trojan horse so a Trojan or Trojan horse is a type of a malware that is often disguised as legitimate software now there are various types of Trojan horses so I can go ahead and link them down below but there are some common uh, criteria or some common uh, behaviors that you would see uh, within all the Trojan horse or Trojan uh, malware that is it they appear to be legitimate first of all you know it'll be a regular piece of software that is trying to act as if it's uh, harmless and that is disguising uh, next it performs forms tasks in the background so what it means that it appear as because it'll appear legitimate it'll do a lot of tasks in the background that the user does not know and it should not be performing and the last one is it can even cause denial of services by consuming system resources now this one completely depends on how the trojan horse software and its code how the code is designed but mainly the uh, intention is to have the resources of a system not available so that the intention of the attacker is fulfilled next one what's a rootkit we'll start with definition once again so a rootkit is a collection of computer program designed to provide continued privileged access to a computer while actively hiding its presence so remember these words it's a collection of computer program that is designed to provide continued privileged access now there are many types of rootkits I'll list some of them below here that is uh, it, there are hardware or firmware based rootkits there are bootloader root, uh, rootkits that loads when you boot your system there are memory based rootkits which run on your RAM the random access memory there are application based rootkits so basically uh, application the 
rootkits uh, replace your standard computer files and there are kernel mode rootkits which i think is the most dangerous ones that boots up and runs with your operating system and then there is virtual rootkit so virtual rootkit loads itself underneath the computer's operating system uh, it then hosts target operating systems as a virtual machine and the last one that is spyware starting with the definition first well spyware is a type of malicious software or malware that is installed on a computing device without the end user's knowledge let's take some example before we go ahead and understand the motive behind the spyware so spyware is one of the most common threats to the internet users once installed it monitors your internet activity attracts login credentials it spies on your sensitive information the primary goal of a software is to obtain uh, some financial knowledge or obtain credit card numbers banking information and passwords so now you might ask how you even get infected with the spyware well uh, spyware infections can affect your any personal computer mac android ios any mobile device some of the most common ways that the, the, the it makes it to your computer is when you use some pirated games software videos or music that you delete that you download illegally uh, next is when you download materials or documents from unknown sources uh, you might also recall that you accept pop-up advertisements when you surf the internet so that is also a way how the spyware gets to your computer and also when you open email attachments from unknown senders so please be very wary of that now there are many types of spyware because spyware is just not one program it's a cat entire category of malware so I'll go run to one some of them one by one first one being adware so adware is, is it's a malicious ad that is often bundled with software or shareware program and when utilities are downloaded from uh, internet it is installed onto a user's device uh, whenever you visit an infected website next keylogger simple to understand keylogger is a type of uh, system monitor that cyber criminals use to steal PII your your key logins your or login credentials and sensitive enterprise information data. Uh, employers may also use key loggers to observe employer employees activities and computer activities and even parents can also supervise the children's over internet uh, using key loggers. Trojans as discussed before Trojans are typically malware programs that are disguised as legitimate software so a victim or Trojan uh, could unknowingly install a file that is posing as an official program enabling the Trojan to access the computer and the last one is mobile spyware this is increasingly becoming popular nowadays that is mobile spyware is also a dangerous because it can be transferred through a short messaging system or an MMS and typically does not require any user interaction or execute command so when your smartphone and tablet gets infected with mobile spyware and that is side loaded with a third-party app the phone's camera or microphone can be used to spy on nearby devices which is very dangerous if you think now this was just a brief introduction on the malware and different types of malware I just barely started scratching the surface I would leave a lot of helpful links down below which you can refer and to increase your knowledge uh, at the very least you can go ahead and share this video with your family and friends whom you think would benefit by watching this video alright I'll go ahead and thank you very much for watching this video and hope you all the very best for your future. Bye now.